Today I want to show you how I restore a bootleg with a really poor audio quality, so let's hear how it sounds. Okay, so there is more noise and hiss than music. Let's hear how her comments at the end of the song sound. I guess it's not only for me as a German hard to understand what Sandy is saying. So now let's check out how the restored file sounds. And now let's find out what she says at the end of the song. Oh, Sandy, shit happens. And isn't it amazing you can even hear her counting for the band? Quick reminder of how the audio quality was before. And magic, please! And I'm jumping back to the old version. Thank you, Sandy. Sorry for the abrupt ending. Let's see how the magic works a little bit better and what I've got here. So, um, first of all, here are my tracks. Um, I got one file, which is a splitter file of her vocals only. And the other one is the rest of what Splitter could find out what was in there. So this is my Splitter software. And now let's put in um, I'm a Dreamer into the software. Just that you can see the workflow. So I'm choosing the original mp3 file that somebody ripped from a cassette in really poor audio quality. And now I put it into Splitter and Splitter divides it into several sections. So for this session, I extracted her solo vocals. They sound like this. And it's amazing how good the signal quality of this is. I covered out the noise in between her words to clean up the mud of this audio. So let's hear what others has got on it. So what's, what Splitter extracted from the rest of the band. Okay, pretty muddy, but one can identify it as music. Now I'm adding lovely Sandy to this. So 
So these are two extracted signals from Splitter. And now let's compare them to the whole mix. And here's the track without the Splitter files. And I'll add the Splitter vocals. And the muddy band signal. And now let's have a look at what plugins I'm using and how this magic works. <laughs> Besides the splitter, I've got here an isotope plugin which is simply amazing. Um, what I did was I learned it a noise profile and I extracted the noise signal from the original track. This is why my version sounds so much better than the original. So um, I don't want to go too much into details here. If you're putting out so much hiss from a recording, you also lose high frequencies. That's why I'm putting them back in with this equalizer and I'm cleaning up the mud with this low cut and a high cut. Um, I'm just cutting out the frequencies that are not really interesting for the whole thing. So something that might be interesting too is what I did with when she was speaking because I did something else here. I took a different noise profile for this and I extracted more his and I boosted much more the 1k frequency area where her speaking voice sits and it's another area than when she's singing. So much fun to finally understand what she's joking about. And now let me show you what plugins are used to boost the extracted solo vocals from Splitter. <laughs> And now I bypass both of them. And I'll add the equalizer. And the compressor as well. I simply choose a live vocals preset for that one so that everything gets a little bit more compact all in all. And now I want to show you how it sounds when I reverse all the magic that I just show you. So I bypass every plugin. Listen. And now I'll add the magic back again. So that was it for today. I hope this was informative and interesting as well. I think the results are amazing and these plugins are incredible. See you soon and thank you for watching and for listening.